This is a German cockroach, a widespread pest that in most of its habitats lives only in human buildings. And in Germany, after which it is named, it does not live in the wild. It is found in the wild in tropical Southeast Asia. And this is the cockroach that lives and breeds in the wild in Germany. Sometimes it can get into human dwellings, but it does not reproduce here and does not harm people or their belongings in any way. But even such random penetrations into the houses happen rarely, even less often than stink bugs fly into apartments. These photos, by the way, my viewer made exactly in an apartment in Germany, in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. Here's even the view from the window through which these cockroaches get into the house from time to time. Somewhere in this park they live and breed happily. Here is another wild living cockroach from the same state, but from another viewer, from Dusseldorf. And one more. The author of this photo wrote that he lives in western Germany and his house is surrounded by a dense garden. And it turns out to be a funny paradox. All these cockroaches native to Germany, which live here in the wild, are called anything but German. The tony cockroach, the dusky cockroach, the amber wood cockroach, the forest cockroach. They all live in Germany, but none of them are called German. All of them belong to the genus Ectobius and are sometimes called wood cockroaches, but there is no mention of Germany in their names. But the name German got a species that comes from tropical Asia and does not live in the wild anywhere in Germany, or even near Germany. Moreover, it is German even in Latin. Its scientific name Blattella germanica was given to it by Linnaeus when he described it in 1767. But these are conventions. All the same, when Linnaeus gave out names to insects, he did not yet know that Germany was not a homeland for these species but just a transit point on its way to conquering the world. Another thing is more important. Both the German cockroach and the native German ectobuses are quite similar to each other. They have similar sizes, fairly similar colors and are very easy to confuse with each other. At the same time, the German cockroach is a serious pest, while all these wood cockroaches from the genus Ectobius don't harm anyone. Even if they crawl, and some even fly into apartments and houses, they do not spoil food supplies and do not reproduce here. There are several known cases when such cockroaches settled in attics in little houses. But there are no known cases of their mass reproduction and permanent dwelling inside living premises. In other words, such forest cockroaches that got into an apartment should be treated like butterflies or like shield bugs that flew into the light through a window. You shouldn't be afraid of them. It's now just to take them and throw them out into the garden and there they will return to their usual way of life. The only question is how to understand which species we are facing. German but a pest or German but local species, one of ectobuses. Because all the viewers who sent me photos with these insects for identification are worried whether they have croton bugs and whether they need to call pest control. And you accordingly may be upset too when you see German cockroaches at home. Although perhaps there is no reason for sadness and your cockroaches may well turn out to be harmless and safe forest compost processors. I have already talked about the case of identifying ectobius as photos of which I received from a girl from Germany. There I showed the easiest way to distinguish all these species from the German cockroach. Just look at the pronotum of a cockroach. That part of the body that is located in front of wings and behind the head, somewhat covering it from above. The German cockroach, a pest, has two noticeable longitudinal black stripes running down the pronotum. None of the species of Ectobius has such stripes, there is this difference in the most unambiguous. And if you see such a cockroach but without stripes on the pronotum, then you don't have to worry, it's Ectobius. Just catch it and throw it out the window. It wasn't reproducing here in the house and wasn't spoiling anything. If a cockroach has two stripes on its pronotum, then it is better to kill it and try to find its relatives. If there are other cockroaches with the same stripes in the house, then you need to get rid of them as quickly as possible to prevent them from multiplying to catastrophic quantities. Important point. In different species of forest cockroaches the coloration of the pronotum can also be different. 
For example, the tawny and amber wood cockroaches have a pronotum the same color as their wings, without a pattern. In female dusky cockroaches it is also light brown, but its color is different from the grayish color of the abdomen visible under the wings. And in males of the dusky and forest cockroaches the pronotum is dark brown and surrounded by a lighter border. But at the same time none of these species have two black stripes on a red background. And therefore the German cockroach can be easily distinguished from all of them exactly by these stripes. And note, this is not only true for Germany. Both German cockroaches in homes and wild living ectobuses can be found in most European countries, in the USA and Canada, and even in Siberia. And everywhere people get confused about them and don't know whether to pour pesticide on the apartment after an encounter with them or just kick such a cockroach out the door. Here, for example, is a photo from New York City. Here is a cockroach from New England, USA. Here is London, New Jersey, Netherlands, Switzerland, Balta Ukraine, Ukrainian Carpathians, Kazan, Russia, Sochi, Omsk, Belarus. And if you have found such guys, please write in the comments in which country this happened. Perhaps you met one of these species where they had not been officially registered before. And thus you will make a small discovery. So in any country it is useful to be able to distinguish ectobuses from the German cockroach. There is useful for both peace of mind and order in your house. So if you see such guys at home, distinguish between them. And if you don't succeed or you doubt your identification, then take a video of your six-legged animals, take a couple of macro photos and send it all to me. I think together we will surely identify your cockroaches.